Hello and welcome to Tuppy Crafting. If you're wondering why you're seeing um, a video of my dog is that um, during the whole of this video you're going to hear this dog snoring. He is fast asleep. Um, he's a bit of an old boy now. Um, he's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier cross that we got from Dogs Trust and he always decides to come in here when I'm filming and then start snoring. So um, any weird noises you hear in the background during this video, you know, are coming from him. Um, so I just thought I'd introduce you to him. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to put together um, a birthday card um, that I created this week. And here are those uh, birthday cards. Um, I've got two of them here. I'd already filmed one video and my phone ran out of storage right at the very end. So I'm going to have to do another one. But they've got some glitter on them. They're really colourful. Um, you can hear him in the background. I'm really sorry. Um, colourful, glittery, would suit male or female. Even with the glitter on there, I think that would suit a male. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to put it together. So I have started off with a pre-folded card. I use pre-folded cards um, mainly because I'm lazy. Um, so that's, that's all there is to it, really. I just do it just because then I know that they're accurate. Um, and I know that they've been folded properly and I know that I'm working with the right size and I get an envelope with it as well. So that's a five by seven card and I've got a piece of Calypso coral card. You don't have to use this colour. I just picked out um, something that would go with that. That's all. So there's plenty of coloured cardstock. Uh, Bermuda Bay would go really nice with that. Um, even black on the back of it would look nice as well. Maybe Old Olive or Lemon Lime Twist. Any of those colours, anything that you've got hanging around. This, as you can see, is a great scrap busting, um, scrap busting project. Little bits of white, little bits of gold. Really not a huge amount of um, card that's being used here in big pieces. That's what I like about this. If you've got some scraps, you can uh, you can get them used up. So, in order to create the border of the card, I've got, based on using a pre-folded five by seven card, I've got a piece of card here that is six and three quarters by four and three quarters, and then a piece of white card that is six and a half by four and a half. So I'm going to start by putting that on there like that, and I'm just going to use some double-sided tape. All of the products on here today, with the exception of the tape, are available on my Stamping Up shop and I've left the link to that in the description bar. I've also left a link to my blog, so all of the measurements that I'm talking about here, they will be on my blog. Um, and you might just want to alter those measurements um, if you are using a different size card. Now I would say that really I couldn't go any smaller than 5 by 7 because I wouldn't have been able to fit all of those um, banners on there. So that's why I went for that size. I have got 6 by 6 cards as well but it, it just wouldn't have been big enough. So there's my tape on there. I'm just going to quickly release Get the backing paper off of there. I'm just tossing aside to the side of my desk and I'm going to very carefully judge that that is central and then I'm going to put some double sided tape onto the back of this and put this on my card. I like to create borders on cards. You know, a lot of card makers do. It just gives, just stops it looking boring, I think. I don't even think boring is the right word, but I think it just gives it some, a little bit more interest. So, get that, take the backing paper off. This dog is determined to make as much noise as possible while I'm doing this video. You can bet your life, as soon as the video starts, he'll, he'll be quiet. So, got my card, got my layered cards, and I'm just going to put them on there. 
centrally like that. So there's our starting point. That's what we're going to start with. We've got glitter leaking all over these cards. So the next thing I need, I've picked out some coloured bits of paper and the more colourful the better. These have come from the Picture Perfect range and I just had lots of scraps left over. So these measure three inches by three quarters of an inch. And what I'm going to do is get my banner punch and this middle section here should be um, one inch, but actually I've, I've just made it smaller because a one inch banner does not work. So I'm just putting that in there centrally and we get that. And I'm just going to do that with all of those. Put it in nice and central. And put them there like that. And the last one. There we are, we've got those. And so I'm going to get my card. Actually, I'm going to... No, I'm going to go back to that. I'm going to get my card and I'm going to arrange them. And I've got two that are similar ish, and I want to put them at each side. And then I've got, I'm going to put that one in the middle, and then those either side. And just have a little bit of a play about with them until you're happy that you've got them where you want them to be. That one's going to be right in the middle. And. I don't want the edge of that one to, or the corner of that rather, to tip over. So you want to get it as central as possible. So we've got that. The other bits that you're going to need, um, I've got a piece of this glimmer paper here. I love this glimmer paper, it's so pretty. And that is, I've completely forgotten what I measured that to be. I know that it's an inch, it's an inch wide, but it is also five inches. So five inches wide and an inch high. And then I've got a little bit more Calypso Coral. That's three quarters of an inch high. And I've forgotten again how wide it is at four inches. So we've got those and I'm just going to put those into my banner punch. And I'm just going to do that to each side of these. So I've got that and that is going to sit there. And then Put that in central, just like you have the others. And then I'm just going to put that in there like that. And line it up so... And I'll stamp that in a minute. So we've got that. Put that to one side. The other thing that we need is some circles of glimmer paper. And I've got my one and one eighth of an inch scallop punch. And I need five of these. Okay. And we also need five circles, which I will cut out in a minute. I need to print that. Um, I need to stamp it first. So let's find my... I had some white paper somewhere. Just found a scrap of it to be able to stamp on. There it is. So I've got my scrap paper here. I don't think there's enough of it, actually. I might need to find another bit in a moment. And I'm going to stamp my letters on there. I need to find a nice clean bit. There we are. So I've got my clear block. And I am using for my letters the Brushwork Alphabet stamp set. Um, so if you're making anything personalised, um, you know, these are really nice to use. Got them in capitals and in lowercase and some, um, and some other bits and pieces on there as well. Okay, so I need to get my, I've got my block and I've got my letters that I'm using over here. I'm just going to do one at a time. There's my H. I'm using Memento ink 
for the black just because it is a proper black. So I'm just going to load up my block, give a bit of a twist and a tap. And then don't stamp it too low on your paper. You'll see why in a second. So there's the H. Actually, I'm going to do the circles first. So I'm going to line up the letter with the punch. Once I'm happy that it's central, punch it out like that. We'll do the next one. it nice and central and stamp and I want two peas I always find not just to tap it also to twist it as well just to make sure you've got all that ink evenly distributed over the over the letter So line it up and, oops, that was a bit clever. And then one more of those. And finally, a Y. Going to see if that will fit on there if not i'm gonna to have to go and find some more paper i'm just being mean i'll see if that works oh i might be lucky there so stamp out the y and then we've got those ready to go and what i'll do while i've got um, the ink and my um block out give that a bit of a wipe and I want to use, using the number of year stamp set, I'm going to, I want to this birthday, um, which I've got here, which I'll load up on my block. And I want to find, there we are, back to that. Just load this up with some ink. Sure that ink is evenly distributed on there and then just line it up there we go perfect which makes a change on a video okay so now we're ready to put this together but I think before I do that I've noticed that my hands are completely covered in ink so we'll have a little bit of a wipe down before um, I proceed any further wouldn't that just be awful to um, Get all everything ready and then I just go and splodge ink all over it. So that's how it's given a bit of a wipe. So let's just put that to one side. So the first thing we're going to do is put these um, banners on. So I'll take the middle one and I'm going to put some double sided tape on that. And I'm going to do that with all of them. Now while I'm doing this, I just want to tell you about the um, celebration offer that we've got going on at the moment. Um, for some of you that have seen my videos before, you'd have heard me talking about this. But um, during celebration up to the end of March, if you spend £45 or more, you can choose a level one reward from the celebration catalogue. Now a celebration one reward, let me show you an example was the beautiful peacock stamp set. Um, so you're looking really at a free gift that could be worth up to 15, 20 pounds. 
So, and that's just by spending £45. If you spend £90 or more, then you are entitled to a level two reward or two level one rewards. And then so on. Then if you spend £135, you could then have one level one reward and a level two reward. So you can build it up like that. If, however, you are looking at spending more than um, £99, then you can get a better discount by choosing £130 worth of goods and only spending £99. What happens then is that you have officially become a demonstrator. You have to sign up to be a demonstrator. Now that doesn't mean that you have to do all of this that I'm doing. It doesn't mean that you have to, that you're signing any kind of um, contract or anything to say that you're going to stay with this for years and years and you don't have to at all. It can be just to get your um, initial discount and your future 20% discount will continue until the end of the next quarter in which you join. I've got lots of information about it and all you need to do is just contact me. The details of how to contact me are on my blog. I've left a link for that down below. So contact me on how you can do that and how you can actually get not only £130 worth of any stamping up goods for £99 delivered free to your door, and a continued 20% discount after that. And by becoming a demonstrator um, during celebration, you get to choose two free stamp sets from the annual catalogue or the spring summer catalogue. And you get the opportunity to come to on stage in November. Tickets for that go on sale um, in, when do they go on sale? I've forgotten, August. So if you're still a demonstrator in August, you get to come to or choose to come to on stage and you can view all of the new products that are coming onto the market and you have a chance to order them a whole month before any other regular Stamping Up customer can. The event is amazing. I had the most fabulous time and met some wonderful people when I went. I honestly went there thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be absolutely wild and it's going to be full of overexcited women about craft. And who was the most overexcited woman? Yep, that was me. So um, it was a great event. And, you know, I've met people that, you know, I've, that I think are wonderful um, and kind of feel that are my friends and are just as obsessive about craft as I am. So while I've been wittering on about that, I have been putting some double-sided paper, uh, double-sided tape rather, on to each of these banners. No, I haven't. I've been putting the double-sided tape onto the gold scalloped edge circles and then putting them onto each of those um, banners. Then I'm going to get my letters here and I'm going to put some of these mini dimensionals. What are dimensionals? Dimensionals are little foam pads. These are the mini ones, but you can get the bigger ones as well. And what they do is that they raise, um, they raise this layer. So when I put this on here, it's just raised slightly. Can you see that? So if you can see that, whoops. I'll be able to see that there. It just gives your project some dimension, hence why they're called dimensionals. And it really can make all the difference to your project, just gives it a little bit more interest. So just get the backing off of these. And I'm just going to put, I reckon that A could have been a bit more central than it looks, but it is as it is now. I don't feel I need to change it. I think as crafters we get quite critical of our own work. We see what other people do and we think, oh, that's amazing, that's lovely. But we look at our own and we think, no, that's not straight or that could have looked better. And, and actually when other people look at it, they think it's amazing. So finishing touches to this card now, just getting the last of these letters on. 
if you were going to make, if you had quite a lot of scrap to get through or, um, you know, you had some of these colours and things and you wanted to create a stack of these cards, my suggestion would be to get a bit of a production line going. So start off by doing all your layering, then cutting out all of your banners, then cutting out all of your letters and things. And I've got three of these going now. They're not a quick project, but if you have somebody that you wanted to make a really nice birthday card for, or even if you're making these to sell, you, know, you can go into any card shop and buy a handmade card that will cost you at least four to five pounds. You know, I could go into WH Smith or I could go into Clinton's and their handmade cards are getting on for five pounds. But they're not original. You know, there's loads of them in the shop. These are total one-offs. That card is not the same as that card, which is not the same as that card. No, each of them are totally original. Right, I'm just going to put that in the centre there, like that. I'm going to put dimensionals on this one just to raise this a little bit. And we are just about done. If you need any further information on any of these projects, please don't hesitate to contact me. I will leave a link in the description bar below and a link to all the products. And on my blog will be um, the details of all the measurements and things. So there we are. I've now got three of these going now. A really pretty card, really colourful to suit any age. Um, male or female I think. I hope you like them, I hope you give, um, give them a go. Um, thank you ever so much for joining me and I'll see you again really soon. Bye bye!